Hello again, welcome back to another episode of the Standard Purple. I guess we're going to check out both up and down this time. First of all, let's see if we can go up. There we go. What do you say now, narrator? Yeah! Ooh. This reminds me of that Jacques Remy or whatever his name was. A French YouTube guy that makes funny videos. Some of them in an ele elevator. Someone opens the door and there's a disco going on inside. He's like dancing around and the guy, you know, about to enter, he's like, What the fuck? <laughs> and then he walks away. He's done other things as well. There's the... You can Google the best of the elevator or, or search on it on YouTube and you'll find it. I guess. It's a nice, nice little trip though, I must say. Oh, did I break it? What the hell? It's the same! Fuck's sake, can I go down instead? Ah, oh, shit, so I just have to stand there and wait again. Oops, did I break it? It's the same! This ain't working, come on! God damn it. <laughs> oh. This ain't take me nowhere, right? I think so. God damn it, can't I? There's no secret room or, or anything like that, nope. Can't go up. Oh, there's no hatch to climb through. God damn it. Let's go up again. Did I ruin it? Nope, it's the same. That's the bathroom. God damn Damn it! I wanted to do something special, but obviously I can't do that. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze oh. in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. God damn it! Could he really be all alone? This Who was knows? too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs. The guttural retching of life from oh, this a man is new, denied though. any hope, any reason to keep going. Yeah! Home, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But yeah. when at last he began to move about and see in the situation, minutes. he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. Oh. What could it mean? Was hmm. it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although no. this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had Ooh. been assigned a four-digit code so devious Maybe and so this is bad different, then. that no man could ever hope to guess it. Two eight four five. <laughs> Statistically, nearly impossible to guess. Nearly by ever. One in is it? I guess nine hundred and you know nine million nine hundred nine nine thousand or something. But. He's correct. It's incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Oh my god, this is different. The correct code. Exciting. Sheer luck. Or is it amazing? He no, stepped the into same. the newly opened passageway. Or did he? I can't exit. No. I guess I'll have to to go through there then. I can't press this one no more either. Nope. I can't check out the bag. No. Nothing here. Okay. So let's go in here and see if there is anything different then. The narration is different at least. So I guess we can... Ooh, that's an elevator downstairs. I still can't do anything here. Nope. Okay. So let's take the elevator down again then and see if anything has, you know, changed. Oops. Or maybe it's just the same. Yeah, I guess so. God damn it. It must be the same. Yeah. I'll get down to this crushing part. Then the lady will be so nice. Into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to God think for himself, damn it. to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Who knows? This question would not go unanswered for long. Nope. Oh, well, maybe there's two ways here. Oh, it is. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door. Oh, I haven't been in here yet. Facility. This is towards my death. That's right. Let's let's go in here and see see what new thing we can discover this time. 
Am I, you know, Magneto or someone? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Make mind control button. Let's see, I can't actually read this. I can't read it at all, sorry. Yeah, so let's let's do some mind control then. On the button. The lights rose on an <laughs> enormous room packed with television Ooh, screens. Nice. What horrible secret oh, did this so was up there hold? before. Stanley thought to himself. Sweet. Did he have the strength to find out? Grrr, I'm strong. Can I press it again? No, I can't. So let's move out here then and see see what will occur this time. Ooh, several different Still can't read. Employee observation protocol, the big part says. Can't read the rest. Let's press this one as well then. See what now the happens. monitors jump to life. Their nice. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Sweet. Standards co-workers. The lives of I'm the boss. individuals reduced to images on a screen. What the hell? That's Stanley, one of them eternally monitored in this place. Where freedom meant nothing. Oh, I guess we're moving on then. See what we can find out here on the third platform. Maybe this will kill us. Oh, it's an elevator, something like that. I can't choose to leave. It's too late. Let's press this one. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley it really can. under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was <laughs> happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated Ooh. to accept it blindly? Yes. Yeah, so let's go on here. And no. win the game, maybe. He refused to believe it. He no! He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? <laughs> Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Never, Was ever. it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes! Of course. What else? Can't press that one? No. Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. This kind of sweet. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or Off sad line. or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that mm -hmm. this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or would he? Mind controls, idle, awaiting input. I mean, can I... I can't press that one, okay. Can I press any buttons? Do I have a choice here? Number three, maybe? Will you help me out? I can't press these ones either. Oh, I can? Okay. But they do nothing. What about this one? Offline? Can I... I can't even press that one. That's silly. Nope, okay. What happens if I press all the white buttons? I, I guess I'll have to watch because the game wants me to shut everything down, but maybe I'm the evil genius. Who knows? Maybe I have to press them in an order or something. So let's wait. I want to check that blue one out as well. But after that, let's let's find number one. There it is. Okay, sweet. So can I do anything here? No, it's disabled. Okay. First one. Yep. Second. Nice. Can I go in here? I cannot. Okay. These are offline as well. I can't press anything. Oh, I can press them, but they don't do anything. Um. So let's see, number three then. Oh, that's number five, okay. Then this should be number three, yep. What if this does anything? I don't know. I guess we'll see, and then we'll go towards number four, press that one as well, and then last of all, number five. That does nothing. I guess I'll just have to shut it down. I guess we'll see. <laughs> there it is. And number five, it's over there, okay. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll win the game, or maybe I'll I'll die horribly. Um, yeah. So I guess that's you know one of those two might happen, or the third possibility is nothing happens. Yes. Let's see now. Five. 
Nothing. Come on. I guess we have to go in here then. I don't have any choice. That's a nice HD screen though. I would buy one of those if I could. System power, okay. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place <laughs> and to everything it stood for. <laughs> Can I either remove this one? Can I? Oh shit! I turned it off, I guess. So, yeah. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Hooray! Was it over? Maybe. Oh. Yes. Yes. He had won. Hooray! He had defeated the machine. Yes, 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 yes. himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments oh. away. And yet... Even as the immense door slowly oh. opened, Stanley <laughs> reflected on how many puzzles. Ah! Oh, it can actually be underneath Where it almost. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Can I actually but move as up sunlight here? sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized oh, none of this was a ramp. To him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, Ooh. but to let go. Yes. No longer would anyone tell Freedom! him what to do or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Yes. That was all he needed to know. Yes. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley yes. stepped through the open door. I can't. Oh, there we Stanley go. Felt the cool breeze I can't steer it skin, though. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before. Nice. Him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Yes. And Stanley was happy. As happy as happy can be. Nice. Now I have to try to turn the system on as well. And not shut it off. I guess it's the same now. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Yeah. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? Who knows? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Oh, oh shit, shit. I saw that one. Someone's moving. I saw someone pass by. I think you saw it as well. Shit. I saw a dude! Something's happening. Something's obviously happening. I saw him move. I can see people! Maybe they are dead though. Who knows? Is there... No one in there right now? I can't open it. Okay. I saw him. I promise. And I have footage of it. You can see it, you can slightly see his when head. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Seriously, if you go watch the photos, you'll see a living person walk by. Is that yeah, some kind of an easter egg or something? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, oh, Stanley come, decided oh. <laughs> to go up to his boss's oh, office, fuck you. hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Coming totally to going staircase. up again. Stanley walked upstairs. Something to his must have changed. Office. Here we go. Oops. I got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say that's a lovely purse. <laughs> nice. Things actually do change now. Oh, and that one closed as well. Okay. Nothing there. Can I go in here now? Not. I guess it would be the same again. I can always try though. Bing bong. Yeah, it would be the same. God damn. Let me out of here. Come on. Great. So let's see if the narration says anything here. Stepping into his manager's office. 
Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Oh. What could it mean, he wondered. Desperate for answers, he began turning the room over looking for clues that might unravel the situation. Yeah. Until at last, he discovered a keypad behind the let's, boss's let's desk. Let's try it again then, alas, sure. No code. For this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. Nice. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two Stanley was in such a rush <laughs> to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments. Oh, I'm sorry for that sudden cut. That's what happens if you have little siblings, I guess. Yeah, sometimes at least. Well, let's continue. Yeah. Are we going in here? Because I entered the code. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Indeed. Stanley calmly walked forward into the nice. open passageway. Oh yeah. So let's see what awaits us this time, if anything. Anything else? Guess we'll see. It's going slower. No, it's taking pace again. Okay. So let's see this time if we actually turn it on instead. What would happen? Who knows? Stanley yeah. walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." Nice. So yeah, let's turn it on and see if it can get any better. And freedom. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television. I don't know, screens. I doubt it, but what still. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yeah, I do. So there we go. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their Sweet. true nature revealed. Each bore the number Fired. of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Nice. So if I saw the guy before, will I be able to see someone on some of these cameras? Because I swear it, I, I saw a guy move by. I can make a special video just with that so you can see my proof. There we go. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Yeah. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Yes. His emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in here and turn no, it on instead. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Yes. Never. It was unthinkable. Oh, shut wasn't up. Wasn't it? Oh, was it even did that possible? One just move Had straight he truly through? spent his entire That's life odd. utterly blind to the world? Yeah. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. <laughs> Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from Yes, as I said now. And as the cold reality of his let's past turn it to sink on. in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power <laughs> over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or he would turn it on instead. There we go. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls. <laughs> yes, did you? I did. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> control? Yes. Oh, Stanley, I'm cruel. I, I really do, but you need to understand. There's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. No. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation That's system. good! In the event that this oh, machine shit. is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Oh, eliminating shit. The 
How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, That's good. This is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere Fine. moments until the bomb goes off. Let's but do things. Oh, look at this. Is. More time to talk about you, about me. Number three. Let's put number what three then. Means. I barely know where to start. So what does it say? What's three that? blue. You'd like to know where your co-workers are. What else is this? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. What am I doing? I'm gonna die anyway. Blue I'll tell three, you exactly okay. What happened to them? I erased them. What? I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was oh, merely in this instance of the story. Green. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you One. sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly sure. and then dying alone. Other I'll times, do this. I let the office sink into the ground. Green one, they everyone said. Everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Or do I have I to say this though? This version of events has incorrect, been okay. Amusing. Watching you try I don't to really understand anything and take back the control rest away from you, it's quite rich. I almost I press it. it red. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next come on, red will be even or better. Red one, is it like My this? Goodness, only thirty four seconds left. But I'm enjoying this. Purple, so much. okay. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why nice. Now? There's purple. These are precious additional seconds. Then I need time number two. Oh, I can just exit though. I can run away, oh, but I have to solve this. Understand me. I could choose Isn't to run that away you have as well. No idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now. Or no, I know exactly. When you saw that timer, that something in this room oh, is capable of turning it off. I mean, look at you, running from button to button. Screen to screen, <laughs> clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, Shut up! Buttons. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? Because I'm this awesome. Video game can be beaten. Oh, well, okay. So, so when I press the correct button, I can actually run out. In this place okay, is. I see. <laughs> or is Stanley. it... You're in for quite a disappointment. Incorrect. Okay. Here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a the catalyst purple one? to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're oh, only shut still up. playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you. It says number one on it. This is not a challenge. Oh shit! It's a tragedy. I had the you green light, but I ignored it. That's fine. But I'm going to destroy I it. I had first, the green light, so you but can't. What the hell? Take a look at the clock stand. No! That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. A fucking crew! Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make Come on! Or don't. It's all the same to me. All oh shit, I guess I'm screwed. And believe me, I will I'll die. laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment it's I over. say happily ever up. Oh. God damn it. He brutally murdered me with nuclear explosions. All of his co oh. Anyway, thank you all for watching Stanley also this episode. I'll fucking Perhaps do it the next time. time. As I said, I saw a guy over here. I promise you. I'll show you real, real photos of it. As I said, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all the next time. Have a nice time, everybody. Leave a like if you want to. Favorite, subscribe, do whatever you want to. Goodbye.